Tulsa Race Massacre. Archaeologists coming out with a huge announcement. George News' Tatiana Taylor is live for us this morning to explain what they found and what's next. Tatiana, good morning. Good morning, Travis. So yes, we're here at Oaklawn Cemetery. And if you take a look behind me, you can see that white fence is where experts found human remains just three feet below the surface. And although this is a big find for the experts here in Tulsa, you know, trying to find those victims from the 1921 Tulsa race massacre, there is no indication that this, it's related in, in that uh, sense. Take a look at some of these photos. Tuesday, experts found human remains, a wooden coffin held together with metal nails and a temporary marker about three feet below the surface on the west side of the cemetery. The conditions of the remains described to be in good standing by state archaeologist Carrie Stackelbeck. She says experts plan to look for signs of trauma to determine if these remains are indeed from the race massacre and it's confirmed that only one person's remains were found and Stackelbeck is optimistic in finding a second body but it's all in the work in progress as experts have no expectations to find or they had no expectations to find anything this time around. What we've been doing up to this point in time is um, we've had the heavy machinery who has that's been um, removing a few inches of soil at a time. Um, and then we have many watchful eyes, of course, that are observing uh, to determine if we're seeing anything that would be indicative of encountering a grave shaft. The team of archaeologists, historians, and researchers believe these remains could be one of the original 18. The only known group of massacre victims possibly buried in marked graves, but for now it's still under investigation. Moving forward, they have a better understanding of where to find more remains and how to adjust their excavating efforts based on these findings. Now remember, we still don't know yet if this is a massacre victim. Experts are doing their best to make that determination as quickly as possible, and we'll tell you more about this story coming up in the next half hour. I'm live in Tulsa. Tatiana Taylor, two works for you.